Pisces, welcome to your reading. I hope you enjoyed the speed shuffle so we can jump right into the reading. So my name is Donna, let's get started. Pisces, it looks like a great reading for you. We have Bluebird Spirit of Happiness. So what is going on in your life? It's transforming with a soulmate into a great deal of happiness for you. Playfulness. Ooh, I like this reading. I think you may have the best reading yet. Meandering pathway, the flow. Go with the flow. So spirit is calling on you to really enjoy yourself in this relationship. So the overall energy, look at it, that your person's bringing in. This is their thoughts, their feelings, their intentions, their actions. And the overall energy that they're bringing into the reading is the Three of Cups. Deep friendship, love, fun, happiness feeling very safe and very much in love with you. We have the energy in terms of their thoughts. They think of you as their soulmate, Gemini energy. They are, they think that you may be holding back though. That your person feels as though they must hold back. There is somewhat of, there is a fear of a great change coming in your relationship. We get the death card. So your person is thinking of you as someone who may or may not be there. They feel as though you're holding back, but in terms of what they think of you, they think that you are going through a huge transformation and that you have a lot on your plate right now. When we look at the energy of, you know, their heart space, they love you. Six of Cups, Scorpio energy. The Five of Coins, though, says that they also feel left in the cold by you, Pisces. They feel as though the love has not matured in the way that they would like for it to. They feel as though the relationship needs to be more grounded. That right now there there isn't enough commitment is what I get. In their heart space, they're feeling sad and a lot of love for you. When we look at, we're going to clarify everything too, but when we look at the Three of Wands, in terms of your person's intentions, they intend to move forward slowly but surely. They're going to ignore warning signs. Your person is really in it to win it, so they're trying to just ignore those things that they think uh, could get in the way of your relationship, the Five of Coins, the Death Card, and the Four of Pentacles. So they're forging ahead. When we look at their actions, look at this. They want to propose to you. They are trying to stay calm, cool, and collected. We see their heart in a cage. They are waiting for the right time or to see if this is going to be possible. The Libra Queen is all about the seventh house energy. It is about marriage. It is about commitment. So let's clarify these cards. Why do you have the Three of Cups here as the overall energy? We have the Ten of Wands. So it looks like the two of you have worked very hard um, on your relationship. And it's time to sit back, relax, and enjoy. So that Ten of Wands is giving up the burdens. We see the energy of the Princess of Wands throwing caution to the winds. I like it. So your person's very in it to win it. The, your person feels as though there have been some defeats along the way. There have been some arguments possibly in the recent past that they feel make you hold back. The Hermit card is clarifying, I'm sorry, clarifying this Five of Swords energy. So, you know, your person is sort of staying quiet right now. They definitely want to have this future with you, but they are concerned that there may be circumstances or something that takes the two of you, pulls the two of you apart, or at least threatens to do so. They at least have a fear of it. Why do we have the lover's card here? Oops, what flipped over? It's in here, right here, okay. Ooh, earth power. We have the four of coins. The four of coins is here, so you have it twice, but your person is not letting go of you. Double, double four of coins. Your person is very sort of possessive of you. They think of you as their beloved, and you are. You know, we get the six of cups. Again, six of cups, six of cups. Four of coins, four of coins. So it really, your person, Pisces, is very much holding on to you. They love you. They want to grow old with you. We see the ten of cups. So they're holding back on telling you that they want to marry you. Uh, that, of course, would be a transformation, right? The death of being single 
and the new beginning of being married. So let's see what the death card, what is the clarifier for the death card? Your person thinks that they want happily ever after with you. Oh my God, they think, Pisces, they think that you might, you might say no. So why would they think this? The hanged man. It looks as though there's something about the way you're treating the situation, Pisces, that makes them think that you are undecided. So they're trying to figure out what that means by looking at things from a different perspective. The Seven of Coins, they feel as though they might have been unsuccessful with you. The Seven of Swords, they feel as they really feel as though you might not be uh, willing to choose them. That the Two of Wands, that you may go off in a different direction, Pisces. Okay, why is the Six of Cups here? We have the Magician card. Your person's manifesting you. They adore you. They love you. Why are they feeling so sad? They feel as though you are their person, but they're not sure that they are your person. The Queen of Pentacles, though, your person's staying very grounded. They're throwing caution to the winds. They really do see this relationship as the, you know, the four the four of uh, work, you know, we see the four of coins here. So we're really seeing again, this person is holding on to the idea that, you know, the relationship is going to develop. Look at this, a lover's card. So in their heart space, they're very much in love with you. They're very passionate. You're magical to them. We, It's a stellar reading. Your person absolutely adores you, Pisces. We see the three of wands. The justice card is clarifying the three of wands. So it looks as though in their heart space they love you. Their intentions with you are to make a very, very good decision. They are choosing you. I mean, the Justice card says that they've already done that. The Libra Queen already says that they've done that, that they find you very desirable. What is the Two of Swords trying to tell us here? The Empress. They're trying to ignore Pisces, how desirable you are. So they don't want to really tell you how much they desire you. They're not going to tell you how much they desire you and want you and need you. They feel very vulnerable. And so we see this sun card. They feel as though almost, they, if, if they don't get chosen by you, they feel as though it would really unravel them. So they're not going to, they're not going to really tell you. They're going to let you decide on your own. So we have the Knight of Pentacles shows that they're moving forward slowly as their intention. They're moving forward into making an offer. And so we see the intention of the Knight of Cups to make you an offer is an actual offer. That's their action towards you is the Knight of Cups energy, Pisces energy. So we do see the Four of Swords. They're not sure that you're going to say yes. They do feel wounded. The uh, Seven of Cups makes them think that you might be interested in someone else or they're not the only one, that you could be, um, you know, taking your love and sharing it somewhere else. The Six of Coins speaks to the fact that they will give to the relationship in this situation. The um, beautiful Queen of, uh, of Swords here is Libra Energy, and this person really loves you. So they will make... They will make a head over heart decision, but they're going to let their heart rule their head, even though they're trying not to. We get the world card. They want to make a full time commitment. They want to have this commitment in your relationship to grow old with you. They think the world of you. And we get the Emperor card. So your person has a lot of authority, Pisces. So they're very successful in their own right. They have a lot of pride. They have a lot of dignity. Um, they have reason to. This is a great person, a great catch. And so what they really wonder is why it is that they're not getting that vibe from you. So judgment card says that they want, they have already decided that they want to marry you. This is a husband and wife taking their vows in the right or wait. Four of Wands is a marriage energy. It's about buying home, creating stability, creating a foundation. And what we see is that they've already decided that with you, but the five of uh, cup says that they do not see you as having decided that about them. The Eight of Coins is they want to learn more, they want to work on this, and the Queen of Cups says that they truly love you. That is Cancerian energy. What do we have? Why do we have the Four of Wands for you? So you have this delightful relationship, but your person feels very much 
they're very determined to have this with you. If they don't have it with you, the Three of Swords, they are very fearful that you have someone else, that you may choose someone else, that you've been tempted by someone else, and temperance. They want to work things through. So your person has a lot of dignity, a lot of, uh, they're very desirable in their own right. They bring a lot to the table, Pisces. So it's going to be up to you to decide whether you're really going to go with the flow, whether you're going to have this delightful relationship or not. So, you know, I'm just looking at their viewpoint. So tell me in the comments below what you think, what's going on in this reading from your perspective. Cindy, you love from Chicago. Send some back. Tell me where you're from and let me know what you think. Hope to see you in another reading soon. Thank you so much for visiting. Bye-bye.